Rick and Morty, season four, episode one review. Coming from Los Angeles, California. <clears throat> I thought the uh, I thought the show was brilliant, and the cherry on top was the the very last. Uh, what's called the ten second. I forget, I forget what the term is. After the credits uh, clip. Where uh, Rick and Morty go and get uh, death crystals. And the death crystals will show uh, the holder the way that they will die. And <clears throat> what Morty does, you know, I like it. I'm not a fan of it, but I like it because it shows that, uh, you know, what will we do for the sick thing, for the illusion of love? Not love, for the illusion of love. While holding the crystal, he sees that uh, Jessica's, I think it's him, I love you, Morty. And is uh, on his deathbed. As he's passing away. And in doing so, he kills Rick. He kills, uh, you know, the dude that's making his life memorable, man. Uh, and I think, <clears throat> especially dudes, you know, how many, of us, how many of us will give up our path, an honorable path, an amazing path for a piece of ass to get acceptance from somebody else, to be liked, to be accepted, to fit in. And the episode gets me because I've just, again, I've, I've seen it, man. And it's just a cartoon, it's just a cartoon so I could um, just roll with it. And with Rick uh, planning his uh, clones to different dimensions, <clears throat> and finding a solution to his death, and a solution to death, um, he comes back and is reanimated. You know, while uh, Morty is out there still trying to to die with uh, Jessica. I went there to die with her on, on his side. You know, I saw a very delicious piece of ass uh, recently. Fuck a fine ass bitch. The bitch is so bad that I, I she took a shit. With a lot of peanuts and corn on my chest. I just did some damn. Look at that badass bitch. Is that her? Her. She took a shit on me. Be like, yeah, her fine ass. Yeah, man, her fine ass. That's gross. But I'm just fucking badass bitch. But even even with her badass. <clears throat> again, I think. Uh, most women, uh, generally speaking, hit the wall at 30. 
and you know whatever a piece of ass and I think a connection a relationship something that's love is fuck that I think we'll make not just your dick hard you know your It'll make your mind tingle, your mind search for more, tap into your willpower. What else can I get out of this? Let's put this relationship in full throttle on this right of life. And Marty starts to um, <clears throat> to do what he had to to do, do and say, and commit the actions that would um, um, put him there with Jessica as an old motherfucker. You know, to be someone that uh, he isn't. No, no doubt that I will lose fans, sales, girlfriends from sharing how I feel. You know, me, I don't give a fuck if a weak motherfucker commits suicide. Even if it's an amazing person, you know, because the way I look at it is, you know, first... If I don't know the motherfucker and I don't give a fuck about them good, you know, less garbage in the landfills, less uh, traffic on the streets, uh, shorter lines at the uh, cash register. Good. Now, if it's someone like uh, Greg Giraldo, I didn't know him, but what a brilliant mind. But, you know, but someone like him, you know, how much did he know to say, you know what, this is the end. This is it, or, you know what, it ain't enough of this. I understand the outcome, and I tap out, I quit. Or this pain is, um, the exist existence is pain, like a me seeks. Not a fan of his death. I wouldn't vote for his suicide, but you know he is who he is, and uh, he did it. <clears throat> yeah, but fuck that, man. Trying to change yourself to get some pussy, or just to get some pussy. No, Marty, Marty is, um, shows a great example of what's, um, what's lacking in us, or, or what we think is lacking in us. You know, we need love. I can't feel love from within. For example, I can't say that I need loving myself by not showing the heroin is not good enough and pursuing my goals, fulfilling my potential. But now I need this chick, this specific chick, to tell me I'm amazing, that I'm loved, that I have value. I say, no, man. No. And then to pursue such a path to be liked and getting Rick killed or hurting other people or getting in the way of others or no matter at what cost, no. You know, I don't doubt that I could uh, be more comfortable, get more pussy, make more money, have a nicer car. If I got into robbing, drug dealing, raping, lying, being a fucking snake, a piece of shit. But not only would that earn me a lifetime in the booty house, but you know, it'll just be a, a bad, toxic path, man. <clears throat> no, 
but, but I really liked it, man. I, it's not cool. Yeah, but the, the funny part was uh, the end, and I didn't see it coming. Was um, just got talking with their uh, her hoochie friends by her knocker, by her knocker room, and uh, saying that uh, I think she said that her goal or her career path is uh, I forget what the word word is. Not caregiver. Another word. And it's to be with people who, who are dying alone and have no, nobody else to um, be there with them and say, I love you, whatever the name says on the paperwork, and um, be with them like, when the time they expire. And uh, Morty hears that. And... Uh, Rick at that time pops up and says let's go on this adventure and Marty says well, yep, fill me up with um, lobsters and whatever crabs and danger and some shit let's go for it let's do it now sure I'm down and uh, it just ends, up, ends like that to go into a portal <laughs> And some people will say, man, you're cold-hearted, man. That's why you're going to die alone. No one loves you. And oh, it's as simple as um, walking by this um, old retirement home. And seeing, I just, uh, I think of animal shelters, orphanages, and old people's homes. Because people will throw away their dogs, animals, pets at the animal shelter. People will throw away unwanted bastards at orphanages and forget about them. But here's the rub, here's the sweet spot. <coughs> Especially when it's some kids that leave their mom or dad at an old home to rot alone. Oh man, you're the devil, man. How could you like that? I can say, dude, I'm pointing it out, man. I'm not, I'm not into human suffering. Maybe into evil people suffering, but not human suffering. But when I see something, then I think, fuck, dude. How is that possible? You know, who dropped the ball? The parent, the daughter, the son.
Sit for now, motherfuckers. Get after it to go forward. Trump 2020.